Uh, I think this was the toughest category, uh, Evergreen, uh, simply because of the fact that a lot of us have actually grown up with these brands. Some of, us, some of them have actually been part of those brands as well. Uh, but I think we had fun over here. It was, I think, one of the longest lists possible. Uh, thanks to IMRB, actually, they, they got the first list down. But despite that, we still had lots more brands to consider. Some were obvious choices. Uh, some were tough and debatable. However, I think as a jury, I think we were all smart enough to ensure that the top most five deserving categories got the award. And congratulations to all the winners tonight. You've done a great job. Keep the evergreen moments alive for us. Another very contested category, as you can see. And yes, before we unveil the next brand that's going to be receiving this trophy, let's find out how much energy this audience has. Are there any whistles and trumpets which have been distributed at the back? Let's see you blow them right now. Wow. Okay, let's, let's, let's figure out what the tables can do. Viraj, where's your whistle? Yes, Ram, go ahead. Yes, Prateek, of course. We've got Shubhadeep also right sitting there. You should pick up a whistle and blow the trumpet right there. Dr. Bhalla. Mr. Jolly, congratulations on the new venture. All right, let's find out who the next winner is. And also, there could be a gentleman who's standing on stage who might receive the trophy, but through the category wins, he recused himself, as did all the other jury members when their particular brand was being judged. Let's find out who the first trophy goes to in this particular category. A perennial brand for sure, Amol, the very first to be handed over the trophy in the Evergreens category. Congratulations team, Amul, very well deserved. Hope to see you here next year as well, like we did last year. All right, let's find out who the next winner is. And like I said, Mr. Shah himself is receiving the trophy here, but he definitely recused himself while judging the category through the jury. Congratulations, Cadbury, Evergreen category. Yes, make some noise. For a change, I see the front benches making a little more noise. We can actually distribute some whistles and trumpets here, the front bench. All right, let's find out who the next winner is. Goes to Havels India, the third brand winner for the Evergreens category. to be recognized while the average was five brands per category for the 10 categories but there are some that are lesser than five and the others are more than five made a compelling reason for those brands to be acknowledged in that particular category let's find out who the next trophy goes to Can we hear it out loud for Maruti Suzuki, the number fourth brand to be recognized in the Evergreens category? 
They have been around. The cutoff period for this category was at least 25 years and a brand should have actually revamped itself for its marketing strategy in the last financial year. Congratulations. You will notice most of these brands have been here more than 25 years, though 25 years was the cutoff period. Let's find out who the next trophy winner is. A unanimous decision by the jury, of course. It's actually a cult more than a brand. Royal Enfield, congratulations for being a judge. The evergreen brand. Women power here blowing those whistles. Thank you so much. And the very last brand that is going to be recognized. Any guesses who that last brand is going to be in the Evergreens category? Any guesses at all? Or is it going to be Silence of the Lambs? Let's put you out of your misery. Let's find out who the sixth medal winner is in this category. Dettol it is, the sixth brand to be recognized in the evergreen category. 